Welcome to the session. My name is Prasenjit and today we are going to discuss a case study called Mount Curve Games. Now this case study is one of the case studies included in the Google uh, Professional Cloud Architect Certification exam and uh, we can expect uh, a maximum of about 10 questions based on any two case studies in the examination uh, guide. So I'll share the link of the official examination guide so you can go through the case studies in details there. So uh, at least you can expect about 10 questions from these case studies so that's why it's important. Now why this video? Well, uh, when you read uh, the case study, uh, it's a long essay um, and a PDF file which discusses various scenarios uh, like one of these which is Mount Curve Games and it is difficult for people who are uh, beginning in this field who are not architects but aspiring architects for them to understand how it works in real world and how uh, the design should be. So I want to create a visual reference for you guys so that you understand uh, it visually uh, what this case study means and how to deal with questions around this case study. So what is Mount Kerr Games? This is a fictitious company name um, used as a case study in the GCP exam as I mentioned and the company develops uh, mobile games for the global user base and uh, it aims to leverage on high scalability, continuous deployment, uh, real-time analytics, minimum uh, latency features um, offered in Google Cloud Platform and uh, they want to do all of this for the future uh, multiplayer game releases that they are going to do. So basically this is a game company trying to be cloud native and deploy on Google Cloud. So how do we approach this solution, how we visualize Mount Curve Games as a company deployed on Google Cloud? Well, uh, the solution approach um, that I take is um, breaking it down into various steps and then understanding the nuances of this case study. So first of all, we have to understand the company overview and then we have to identify the GCP products or services based on the company's requirements, identify the knowledge gaps and do the relevant readings around it, then refer to industry best practices and then finally draw the solution diagram and uh, discuss it. So that is what I have done for you today. So. Uh, what's the company overview here? Mount Kirk Games uh, makes uh, online session based multiplayer games for mobile platforms. So mobile is the keyword here and they have recently started expanding to other platforms after successfully migrating their on-premise environments to Google Cloud. So their most recent endeavor is to create a retro style first person shooter game that allows hundreds of simultaneous players to join a geo-specific digital arena from multiple platforms and locations and uh, a real-time digital banner will display the global leaderboard from the top players across um, every active arena. So lots of things are happening here. So you have a global platform gaming service so that's another keyword to understand and there would be hundreds of simultaneous players so simultaneous sessions and uh, there would be a, a real-time digital banner uh, for the global leaderboard so lots of caching there lots of pub sub queues and all that coming in so uh, the solution concept uh, would be the company is trying to build a multiplayer game and they expect it to be very popular so it is going to be a traffic intensive uh, application so this is going to be deployed on Google Kubernetes engine so that they can scale rapidly because uh, it's mentioned that says, uh, this is going to be a, a global uh, service with mil uh, more than hundreds of users. So uh, GKE uh, is going to be the platform for their microservices so that it's scalable and Google's global load balancer would be used to route players to the closest regional game arenas and in order to keep the global leaderboard in sync um, they would plan to have a multi-region spanner cluster. 
by this uh, it's the gaming database or cloud spanner so here i have created two uh, of the high level diagrams like this is a high level diagram for the mobile clients uh, which are going to use uh, the google cloud platform to host their services they would have a front end they would have a back end and within the front end they will have game platform services they will have dedicated game servers and uh, in the back end they would have analytics stack and the game databases cloud spanner and uh, th there would be fine grained and coarse grained game state that would be maintained across the platform so that is what it looks like at a high level now we'll break it down into the components that have been used we'll come to this in a while but let's discuss more about the technical environment that they already have based on the case study so uh, the existing environment was uh, recently migrated to google cloud according to the case study and five games came across uh, using the lift and shift virtual machine migrations and a few minor uh, uh, exceptions came in during this lift and shift and each new game exists on an isolated uh, Google Cloud project nested uh, below a folder that maintains most of the permissions so all the IAM permissions and network policy are below this nested folders so what I would uh, suggest at this point like since I am describing the technical environment and uh, all that related to this uh, particular case study try to commit them to your mind because in the exam you would have two hours and 50 questions so uh, you would not have much time to go through the case study which is a long um, uh, paragraph uh, to go through and understand it every time and then read the question and then go through the options and answer it so if you are uh, going to commit these uh, requirements business requirements technical environment existing setup their vision for the company so then you know the case study by uh, by heart by heart I mean you commit it to your memory and understand what the setup is like so that you can directly jump into your question and start solving it all right so that is what the existing technical environment looks like uh, and what are their business requirements or goals because based on the business architects can uh, architect their solutions it's uh, the customer's choice what's uh, his vision or what he wants to build for their company that that becomes the goal of ours architects to build so the business requirement is to support multiple gaming platforms in multiple regions then um, the second goal is to minimize latency support rapid iteration of game features optimize dynamic scaling using managed features and pools resources and obviously minimizing the costs so keep all of these points in mind so what are the product and services that uh, we have identified that can help achieve these goals and these services should exist in the Google Cloud ecosystem of course so that we can help build a cloud native application for Mount Curve games so now you can focus on this diagram and try to understand what are the different moving parts so we will have an integration via cloud pops up to ingest the real-time event messages sent from a large number of mobile app applications because this is a mobile game so you will have events coming in from the devices so these events would go through pops up so we are going to use pops up for the queuing and message processing and then uh, the multi-regional GKE clusters would be used Google Kubernetes engine with auto scaling features enabled for scalable environments based on the gaming activity and uh, the deployments will be done through CI/CD pipeline using cloud repository um, Jenkins or Spinnaker builds and uh, Docker would be used as the container platform and uh, obviously we will use container registries to, to store the Docker images and probably infrastructure as code or Terraform tools and then finally CDN would be used content delivery network uh, along with the global load balancer services so that the content um, is provided uh, or distributed across edge locations closer uh, to the users and so that the users have a very good experience because that was one of the business requirements here and uh, that will provide reduced latency and help meet the service level objective limits and uh, talking about some technical requirements 
they want to dynamically scale based on the game activity publish scoring data on a near real time uh, global leaderboard uh, and i spoke about these requirements and uh, they would like to store the activity logs uh, in structured files for future analysis uh, and uh, they would use gpu processing to render graphics server side for multi platform support and they would support eventual migration of legacy uh, games to new platform so uh, for these technical requirements uh, some of uh, the other uh, products and services that can be identified are uh, like we will use gke kubernetes engine because uh, that will provide scalability because they want to grow in numbers very soon and we would use a memory store or, or in memory database on the cloud which will provide access to rapid scoring on global leaderboards because the requirement was there would be real time global leaderboards uh, for the scores of the players so we will use memory store for that and uh uh, and we we will use obviously cloud data flow for the parallel data processing uh, because uh, the JSON events that will come in through the pub sub queues uh, need to be eventually structured into a schema based data that can be understood and analyzed later on in various dashboards and obviously once this schema based data is stored uh, uh, big query would be uh, used uh, so that uh, the analytics engine can work uh, properly so let's revisit our diagram very quickly so based on the requirements that we have uh, to provide a global gaming platform with scalability low latency high analytics capability so the solution would be to have front end components of the gaming architecture uh, that would have uh, game platform services that provide extra game functionality dedicated game servers that host the game and uh, for the back end we will need game state to be persisted in the system and uh, for that something like cloud spanner can be used and uh, the analytics stack um, that stores and queries analytics and gameplay events so cloud storage is used to store uh, uh, okay so for the analytics uh, what we can do is uh, as i said we can use various components uh, we can use uh, cloud data flow for parallel data processing big query for the analytics engine data prep for preparing the data before visualize is uh, visually analyzing it and also using cloud storage or object storage to store the log uh, logs so this is what uh, the entire setup would be like and these are the tools that you should use to architect this uh, particular framework uh, for mount curve games and try to answer or define your questions around these tools uh, so that that is how you will succeed in this particular case study questions now if you look again you will see the real time events coming in going to app engine or later on you can use eks based on the questions uh, and uh, the traffic the numbers that the questions give then it goes to uh, cloud pops up so the events are streamed through streaming pipelines then goes to da cloud data flow then it goes to cloud bigquery and as similarly there is another chain of events that is coming from ETL uh, batch loading and that goes to cloud storage so when ETL related stuff comes it goes to the buckets in the cloud storage and from there they are again streamed to cloud data flow and cloud bigquery and sometimes when there are raw uh, logs they can be prepared before uh, sending it to cloud bigquery so for that we use a component called cloud data prep and then finally for visualizing there are multiple options in google cloud 
based on the requirements it could be cloud data studio it could be looker uh, it could be even simple csv files uh, on google sheets and so on so that is about how the mount curve games case study should be approached so this is the basic setup a high level diagram that explains how it would work and this diagram explains what are the various moving parts or components that we use for mount curve games in google cloud so that is it for today if you have any questions please put it down in the comments see you next time thank you